Hi everybody. I'm sorry I haven't uh, made a video in a few days, but um, I've been kind of busy. I uh, finished my master cleanse and I did okay, I think. I mean, I, I didn't eat. I didn't eat anything except drink my lemonade. And I will give you my stats right now. Um, I've kind of been keeping a little journal. So I started the Master Cleanse on July 12th, 2010, uh, weighing in at 160.4 pounds, and my body fat started at just under 29%, about 29%. Um, I, uh, I showed you a video um, on day six, I believe, with what my body looked like on day six. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, I finished the cleanse in 21 days. Um, my last day was August 1st, and uh, I weighed in at 147.4, which is exactly 13 pounds. Um, my body fat dropped down to 26%, so I lost 3% body fat. Uh, it was funny, actually, because a lot of people were saying that, you know, watch out, because after you start eating, you're going to gain all your weight back and blah, 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 blah. Well, uh, the day after my last day, um, I weighed myself again, and I dropped almost another whole pound down to 146.8. Um, so... I'm, I am working out. Um, I started doing a boot camp with a friend of mine who was in the Marines. So he challenged me to do a 14-day boot camp and said he would get me to lose another 13 pounds, which I don't really think it's possible in 14 days, but we'll see how long that takes. Um, my goal was 135, but now that I'm down to 146, I think that I want to go ahead and get down to 130. Um, so... We'll see how that goes. Um, I let you guys know in my last video about some things that I had noticed. My hair um, wasn't really coming out as much when I took a shower. My nails grew a lot. Um, my skin has definitely cleared up. Um, and so, yeah, I've been making super healthy meals. And I think I'm also going to start... Um, uh, making little mini cooking shows on my YouTube channel so I will let you guys uh, know when I'll start doing that uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just recap on a couple of things because a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions a lot of people have started doing the master cleanse I'm getting phone calls from people saying that they just you know were so inspired by my videos and things that they want to try to cleanse and I really take it as a compliment because you know I, I just was really trying to make these videos to motivate myself, keep myself motivated. I figure if everybody I know, because I post this on my Facebook as well, if all of my friends are able to see how much I weigh, which is embarrassing, but I figure, you know, if I don't want it to be that way, then I need to just stay on track and keep uh, working out and eating right. Um, I've been um, trying to eat, uh, well, the last... Yesterday in the morning for breakfast, I had a celery stick with some peanut butter before my first day at boot camp. Um, I, I don't think that that was really enough because I did start getting a little bit nauseous when I um, was almost at the end of my workout. So this morning, um, I thought I would have something with a little bit more sugar in it before I worked out. So I had um, a few pieces of cantaloupe. And if this is boring for anyone else, you can just, you know, skip through it or stop because this is just mainly trying to tell people that are interested in cleansing or, or you know, dieting or anything like that, um, kind of what I'm doing. Uh, so, sorry if it's boring. Um, I also keep cashews with me all day so that if I am in a situation where I know I'm getting hungry, um, I can snack on, on some cashews. They're a good source of fat, they have protein, and they, they do uh, keep you full. Um, so, it's, raw almonds work great too, uh, but just try to eat your nuts raw. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, some other things. Um, 
lentils are really good and, and of course everything I'm making is vegan right now um, I'm gonna try to stay vegan like I said I might occasionally have some cheese on a special occasion or some fish or sushi on a special occasion but I am gonna try and be vegan for the most part so uh, I've been making lentil soup and also black bean soup um, I had the last couple days for dinner um, I'm putting, I'm ha having a lot of fresh greens, uh, a lot of fresh spinach. Um, you guys know if you've been watching my videos that I got, do a lot of gardening, so I like to have fresh vegetables right out of my garden. Um, tomorrow I'm picking all, all of my okra. Um, it seems to be ready, so I am going to make a, a curried okra that I looked up an ingredient, uh, a recipe for online. I'll let you know how that goes. Um, with my salads, I've been trying to add a lot of fresh herbs, uh, parsley, um, uh, red basil. I also added some dandelion leaves, radish leaves, celery leaves. You can add some mint in there. Um, all kinds of herbs are just, they're really good and, and they add a lot of flavor and they, they, uh, they're really good for you. So just experiment with different things. You might not like everything, but you might grow to like it. Uh, but soup is definitely a good thing to eat, especially after you've cleansed, because they say that because it's in a liquid form, your body can more easily absorb the nutrients. Um, but then again, people say that it's better to eat raw vegetables because they have more nutrients. So I just, you know, just get your vegetables however you can. Don't add tons of, of sauces. Sauces are really what gets you. They have tons of calories. Um, I like to use, instead of um, a lot of heavy sauces when I cook, um, I, I always use olive oil. I never use vegetable oil or canola oil. Um, I also use lemon when I cook. Uh, I'm going to show you, hold on just one second. Rags liquid aminos. Um, this is sort of like soy sauce. Um, my friend Chelsea the other day was asking me what she could season her tofu with. She wanted to make some grilled tofu and had never tried it before. She doesn't like to use soy sauce because it has a lot of sodium, which I completely agree with. Um, this only has 160 milligrams of sodium, and that is for half of a teaspoon, which half a teaspoon, if just got a little bit of flavor, um, really 160 milligrams is not a lot, especially compared to soy sauce, so if you want to go ahead and add a whole teaspoon, just kind of try to monitor that, because sodium makes you retain water, makes you feel bloated, makes you look fat. Um, also, this has a lot of uh, amino acids, which are really good for you. I'm also going to try, I've never tried this before, but um, I really love tofu scramble and I seem to never be able to get the flavor right when I make it at home and I think it's because I've never used nutritional yeast flakes. I saw this on someone else's YouTube video today that she made a tofu scramble, basically patted the tofu dry, um, added a little bit of olive oil to her pan, uh, heated it so that most of the, the moisture, the water and stuff that was packed in got evaporated and then she went ahead and added these uh, nutritional yeast flakes. These have for for three rounded tablespoons, this stuff's got only 80 calories, one gram of fat, um, 370 milligrams of potassium, only 14 carbs, but that's with five dietary dietary grams, five blah, blah, five grams of dietary fiber, which cancels out carbs. So really, it's only got nine grams of carbs, and nine grams of protein. So this is uh, really looks like it's. It's really good for you. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you guys know. Um, it also has a lot of vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. So that is nutritional yeast, nutritional yeast flakes, and I picked this up today at Follow Your Heart along with my Bragg's liquid amino acids. I got that at Follow Your Heart as well. Follow Your Heart, if anyone um, is interested, is a vegetarian restaurant and grocery store. It's a grocery store and in the back they've got a restaurant. They make great delicious food. They have vegan options. Um, everything in there is vegetarian and they're really friendly staff. Um, prices aren't too bad. You know, uh, about 10 to $14 for a meal. Um, if you go for, for something lighter, you can get away with a bowl of soup and a piece of cornbread for less than 10 bucks. So 
check out uh, Follow Your Heart, and that is in Canoga Park on Sherman Way and just east of Topanga. That's in the valley, dudes. So, all right, well, this is what I'm looking like right now. This is day two of my boot camp, so I will uh, let you know what I'm looking like right now. It's definitely better than the video with my red dress on, but not where I want to be yet. So, here it is. So, here's the front. This, I'm wearing jeans, which is probably not the best thing to do today, but here's the front. Um, my pooch is still here, but definitely not as big. Um, this, I have stretch marks, so it's going to be really hard. I'm going to have to work out to get that flat. Um, so the front, and then we have the side view, and the back, and the other side, and to the front end. So that's where I am so far. I really appreciate everybody for following me along and watching my videos and all of your nice comments and everything. And sorry if this video was a little long, but I just wanted to keep you up to date and give you some of my little pointers for cooking. Thank you and I'll see you soon.